Hello everyone. I hope that you're all well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leigh Ralston. I'm also known as Mommy Leigh and I love creating. I love anything that has to do with creativity, whether it's journaling, whether it is crafting, as long as I'm using my creativity to spark joy in my daily life, this is what you're going to see here on my channel. But anyways, hello and welcome. Today I will be working in my Hobonichi and this is the 11th week and we're doing the March 14 until the 20th. I have a color scheme going on here as you can see. I have, um, this is from Faber-Castell and this is the Pit Artist Pen Brush. I love using this because it doesn't bleed in my Hobonichi and I love doing some hand lettering, some brush lettering with these pens. So this one is the Thalo Blue 110 and I love the Middle Purple Pink 125 and also going to be using some Light Green 171 and um, these are super fine tips. It has the S. So these are super fine. And these are brush tips. So that's how you're going to find out. The Pit Artist pens come in different tips, especially the black one. Um, the Super Fine, it, they, they have very limited colors. I love them. They're my favorite. I wish they come in more colors, but yeah, they don't. But okay. So anyways, these are the color scheme that we'll be using. And also another product from Faber-Castell is the Gelatos. Yes, they look like lipsticks. They look like, like lip balm. It uses the same mechanism. So you twist this, you know, and then that gelato comes out. So these are creamy pigment stick. Um, there are many different ways that you can use gelatos. I have a couple of videos where I have um, I was using the gelato, so you can check those out. But these are the ones we're going to use. I might use some washi tape. This one is from a collaboration between Simply Gilded and also Archer and Olive. So I might use a little bit of this washi tape. But um, if there's anything else that I'll end up using for this week's spread, I'll put them in the description box. But enjoy the video, and I hope that you'll find some inspiration from this one. As you can see, it's very simple. As I go along my week, I would usually add a little bit of doodles here and there of, you know, of everything that I might have forgotten. Or sometimes just because it's super plain, I would, you know, add some drawings here and there. But 
but pretty much I start with the basic. I start adding colors because that's the most overwhelming um, part is seeing a blank white page. So I would just start with colors, you know, pick my colors and then add colors on my page. And gelatos are the super easiest way to add colors in the Hobonichi without crinkling the paper so much. Before I would use some watercolors, you know, I would even use acrylic paint um, in my Hobonichi, but eventually it just all starts like crinkling up and it gets super thick. And this, you know, this year I'm not really planning on doing a lot of watercolors in here, but as you can see, gelatos are a great way to add um, colors in your Hobonichi, if you're using a Hobonichi. And really add great colors, whether you're using this type of planner or not. Um, so I would post the links to these products in the description. But if you have any questions from me, please do let me know in the comment section as well. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And um, if you enjoy contents like this, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. But thank you so much for watching. As always, stay creative and stay happy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Oh,